What's up guys, in this video I'm going to show you that how you can add PayPal smart buttons into your Shopify store. So if you are using Debutify theme, then this video is for you. For example, you are interested to download the Debutify theme. So I will be adding the link below in the description. You should uh, download the Debutify theme from there. And of course, if you have any problem, you can ask me the questions below in the comment section. So Debutify theme is best. Of course, there are a lot of people who are already using this. So if you are thinking this is good, then just click in the link below in the description and download it and install it. And so for other themes, I have already completed the videos. So I will be adding the links below in the description or maybe you can also uh, go to my channel and see the latest uploads and you will be finding those videos over there. So currently you can see on my screen that this is the cart page and I have already added those buttons here. And if I will be refreshing this page, then you will not able to get those buttons. Why? Because I have removed that code and now I will be showing you step by step that how you can use that code and in that way you could able to edit uh, everything. So on, I have already written a blog, so you should follow this. So I will be adding the link below in the description. So important thing is that this is quite easy for you because it you only need to copy and paste the things. So the first step is uh, here we have multiple steps. So you should follow all these steps. I will be uploading that video here uh, once I will be finishing this video. So uh, let's uh, move ahead with the dashboard. So you can see that we have this sh uh, da Shopify dashboard and you should click on online store on the left menu. And once you are clicking over there, then you can find out here that this is the Debutify theme we have installed up till now. So first of all, you should click on actions. Then you should click on edit code. Once you are clicking on edit code, then you will be redirected to uh, these folders and files of the backend where we can do some customizations. So you need to click on snippets and then you will be getting a file name called as cart dash page dot liquid. So once you are getting this specific, uh, uh, this specific screen, and then you can see that there are a lot of code here. So we will be following the, those steps and copy the copy and paste all those code. So here you can see that we have the first step in which we will be copying this line of code, uh, and then paste it on the top. So on the first line, we will be pasting that code. So I did the same thing. Then after you should go ahead with the second step, you should copy all these things. And then after you should paste it down below in the last line. So this is quite simple. That in the second step, the code you need to co uh, copy and paste it in the last line of this specific file. Then after you have the third step in which we have to add this uh, PayPal button container tag. So you should copy this and paste it. I already mentioned here, given you the clue that wherever you are finding this specific line, just above this, you should paste it. So let me show you how. So here you can see that we have this specific line, which I have sh shown over there. So above this line, I am going to paste it. All right. So this is about 249 line number, or maybe it can be above and below because we already added the code in the first line. All right. So once you are done with all these steps, then you should save these changes and let's see on the cart page. So you should refresh this page and now you can see that we have everything, but we have unwanted uh, PayPal button and checkout button. So we are also interested to remove all these. So for that, we have to follow the fourth step. And here you can see that we have also some code you need to copy and paste it on the second line of this file. So in the second line, you should just paste it and then after you should save these changes. So once you saved these, then you should refresh this page and now you are good to go. Here you can see that we have both these buttons, which we are we were expecting to uh, appear here. So first example, you are interested to uh, keep that checkout button as well. So for that, you need to remove these lines from line number six to eight. For example, I'm removing this line and then you should save these changes and refresh this page again and now you will find out that checkout button is available here but for now if you are interested to key, uh, disappear that one you should control z and then after again it would appear on the 
code and then uh, you will able to remove that button from here all right so one final step that we have to do is uh, on the top you can see that in the first line we have client id equals to sb so sb is not the actual client id so we need to copy and paste the actual client id which is the live client id so you should uh, go ahead with the fifth step and i have added the link so you should watch that video uh, and here i have mentioned that how you can copy and paste that cl live client id from your paypal account and uh, once you copied that code then you should paste it uh, here in place of sb you should replace uh, this sb with the actual client id so in that way you could able to integrate that paypal button here uh, because that client id will be linking your uh, shopify store to your paypal account and once someone is uh, sending you the amount then you will be receiving in your paypal account because of this client id all right so that's it for now so uh, let me show you uh, the official uh, official uh, official uh, documentation of the paypal from where i copied the code and managed in my blog so you should go to developer.paypal.com forward slash demo forward slash checkout so once you press enter key then you will be redirected to this page so from here and from this responsive and from uh, this all this code uh, i actually copied and then managed somehow and organized in such a way that you only need to copy and paste and in that way it could be easier for you of course so i have just copied the code from here and uh, pasted over here and also i did added some additional things which we had required all right if you still face any specific issue you can uh, contact me you can also uh, add uh, i will be adding the links below in the description so you should follow that uh, links uh, for example you are interested to download the debutify theme so i will be adding the link below in the description you should uh, download the debutify theme from there and of course if you have any problem you can ask me the questions below in the comment section so debutify theme is best of course there are a lot of people who are already using this so if you are thinking this is good then just click in the link below in the description and download it and install it and just uh, try it uh, for some days if you think this that is good then go ahead with that all right so these were the few things that i had to mention to you so uh, if still you are facing any issue then feel free to ask me the question and if you are new on this channel then please subscribe this channel and also like this video so thank you so much for watching this video. See you in the next video.